there. The amount of comments that I've had in the past from people saying, Alex, I've gained inspiration from you. I've started my own wisp. People are actually receiving internet from me because of your videos. That warms my heart and honestly, it pushes me to do more stuff like this. Now today I have the grueling task of upgrading one of my towers and a specific part of that tower needs upgrading and that is the power. Now, I have explained to you guys in videos of the past that I can make a tower pretty much wherever I want. All I need is to be able to see one of my other towers to be able to get internet to the new tower. The only other thing I need to run these towers to rebroadcast my internet is power at the tower. If there's no power, there ain't no tower. Now, one of my towers is currently experiencing some power issues, which is basically knocking some of my clients offline. Yes, not very good. Now, to explain what I'm gonna do about that, I think we best visit the core. <laughs> Jap, you can't ignore it. I'm transforming now these cars and planes. I'm always boarding. Just out touring down in Charlotte like I play for Hornets. This is the core network. We're not upgrading this core network. The reason I'm here is so I can just explain something. So there's a lot of equipment in this core network, but the one thing I want to focus on up here is this Netonix switch. Now, all of you know what an internet switch is. It's a thing on it with ethernet ports and all of the lights flash. Now these Netonix switches are designed specifically for people like me who run WISPs. Because as well as these obviously passing data, these are connected to the radios on the roof. So this switch is clever because it also has the ability to power the radios on the roof. Now, how is this switch powered? Now this thing right here is called a UPS. You can't really see it. Let me tap the button. So there, you can see that my UPS has 100% power. So if the power to this house, which is my family home, was to for whatever reason die or get cut off or maybe one of the RCD trips breaks, this will automatically fail over to the battery inside of here and keep everything in this cabinet running for about 40 minutes. This is my family home, so I'm hoping that in 40 minutes from wherever I am, I can get around here to sort the issue out. But as you know, I have lots of sites that redistribute my wireless internet. And some of those sites I won't be able to get to without a key from the landowner. So let's say one of my switches out deployed at someone's site goes off at 1 a.m. and I can't get there till 7 a.m. That means that's off for six hours. Now, unfortunately, there isn't really an easy way for me to get more battery power for reserve backup for this rack here because a lot of the equipment runs on 240 volts. In fact, it all does. So for the last few months, I've been thinking of a plan and today I'm about to put that plan into fruition. <laughs> Jap, you can't ignore it. Now, I'm hoping that this stuff, this new stuff, is going to help me. Let me explain a little bit more about what I've got going on here. So when we go and visit the site later on in this video, you'll see the switch that we're going to be replacing. It's a little bit smaller than this, but like the one at the core network, it runs off 240 volts. I'm not sure if you can see in there, but it should say between 9 and I think 70 or 72 volts input. If we were to pull the plug and we had a battery connected to this, this should automatically fail over to the battery. Now, like my core network, which will only run for 40 minutes, this, with the right battery connected to it, will run for hours and hours and hours. I mean, heck, even with a big enough battery, you could even get days out of this setup. We can go and deploy this at our site. Right after a word from today's video sponsor, CyberGhost VPN. VPNs are getting that important that people in their houses are actually implementing them at the router level to have all the devices on the network protected. 
With CyberGhost, all of your traffic basically goes through a secure VPN tunnel. That basically in a nutshell means that your IP address is hidden and nobody can access your data. Obviously, as well as all the protection that comes along with having a VPN, you can take part in the benefits that come with hiding your IP address. And your IP address gives away sensitive information like your location, for example. That's how Netflix knows where you are. Now, if you flick on your CyberGhost VPN, that basically means you can choose to be anywhere in the world. They've got 38 million users and five stars at Trustpilot, so you can be sure that you're, well, definitely in good VPN hands. They've even got a strict no logs policy, so no one will even know about your online activity, not even CyberGhost themselves, and you can use one subscription to protect up to seven of your devices at the same time. So if you want to, you can share that with your family and friends. There's also a 45 day money back guarantee, so it's totally risk free, and CyberGhost VPN have given me one pound and 94p per month with four months for completely free. That's like 83% off or something like that. I'll stick it in a pinned comment and also in the top line of the description so you can find it super, super easy. We can go and install our switch. Go and check it up, test me in again, we let it rain. Please don't start us up, got that black and white, that yang yang yang. Mr. Officer, please don't search us, we don't got a thing. Tell them Okay, so like I mentioned earlier, this is one of my latest sites. In fact, it still is my latest site. I installed this about six months ago and it currently has four clients hanging off it and I'm expected to get another five clients signing up over the next month, which is why these upgrades now are really necessary. Now, oh my, shit. Um, okay, so we have a slight bit of an issue. Can you see that little box right there? That houses the current switch that I need to replace for the radios up on the roof. However, when I installed, ow, none of this was here. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. I am just happy that I didn't get a call from one of my customers saying there was a problem that required me to get to this box and then me arriving and seeing all of this. I think. I think I would have cried. So this is my previous setup. This is what I had going on. As you can see, we have this tiny little miniature switch down here, which again is being powered by 240 volts. So in a nutshell, that basically means if I was to toggle off that switch right there, the power to this network switch would completely die, rendering all of my clients offline. With this new setup down here, if the power is disconnected to our transformer, then this transformer will switch over to to its battery. Now, I know the keen eyes of you will be saying, Alex, where's the battery? You haven't even got a battery with you and you are more than correct. The reason I haven't purchased a battery yet, I haven't even bought one, well, is because I didn't know, I'd forgotten how big this cabinet was, right? Now, I can basically put any size 12 volt battery on this little transformer. So the bigger the battery, the longer time we will get whilst the power is off. I've messaged all the clients connected, told them this is happening, so we're good to go. And now we are back exactly where we started, and I want to give you a little bit of a tour around what I've actually just installed. Okay, so this is what it looks like once you're logged into the switch that we've just installed. You have this table of contents here, this is basically all the ports, and you have all the ports up the top here. So this port that I've labelled AX5XHDIN is my air fibre radio that's bringing the internet into this site. As you can see, we're using 6.4 watts of 24 volt PoE, and as you can see, people are using the internet, people are using the service. Now, if I go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see this a little bit more, at the top, you can see that we have a current input of 1.2 amps at 30 volts. Now, I can change this on that little transformer device, and I've set it at this, and I'm thinking that it's working fine. 
Now a lot of people ask me how I manage the data limits or data caps for my clients. So if a client is on a 40 meg package for example, how do I limit their speed to 40 meg? Lucky for us, the switch up here has a QoS tab. I can go ahead and click on port 6 and you can see at the top there that it has put a white box around port 6. I can literally type in here whatever I want, 30 Mbps, I could put 500 kbps if I wanted to but these guys are on a 40 meg package from me So I like to give them an extra meg and just to give you an example This is the battery that I'm going to buy for this site now I'm happy to say that I can get the 55 amp hour one because the storage space is big enough. I have enough space in that cabinet to put this battery in. If this one wasn't going to work, I would have had to have gotten this one, which is only 22. Now, I'm not expecting my site to lose power. The 240 volt should stay on 99.9% .9 of the time. This video and what I've done today is simply taking account for that 0.01% of the time that it is gonna go off and what will happen then. Piss poor planning leads to piss poor production or a piss poor product basically. So I'm just planning for everything, right? And if I've planned for everything, surely nothing can go wrong. Does that make sense? So with that being said guys, I hope you've enjoyed a little bit more of a deep dive into my networking ways for upgrading one of my towers today. And guys, don't remember to click that link in the description for the Cyber Ghost VPN deal that they're doing just for you guys. Remember it lets you protect your data whilst you browse, get access to blocked content on the internet and all for just £1.94 per month and four months for free. But with that being said guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.